Okay, we've arrived at the campsite. Um, I'm camping down in a little triangle area where I can let the dogs off the lead out of uh, everyone's way, which is nice. There's a barn up there, toilets and everything. And then there's a little house over there, it's not a big plot, it's got two, two or three acres, four acres maybe. Um, but it's just a little campsite. And it's quite lovely. Dogs are chilling already, and I've got to put this tent on. Whew, okay, set up done. A bit breezy from this side. So dogs have been really good, I'll show you where dogs are. Dogs are absolutely, look at them. There we go. Dogs are well chilling. And then inside tent basically just got, obviously sleeping compartment, cooking compartment and dogs sleeping on in here. Okay, we are near Whitby. Got a good drive down. Dogs are being horrendous again. Well, hey. Anyway, we're giving the dogs a walk, obviously, in the park. Um, and just seeing how we get on. I haven't been to the seaside for so long on the beach. So, let's make the most of it while we're here. What a gorgeous beach. You get away with six quid for 24 hours parking here, so you can park on beach, play all day, six quid a day. Cheaper than going home, isn't it? Cheaper than paying your gas and electric bill. Right, dogs, can we do a bit of a, Lizzie? What's this? Can we do a bit of a trade? I'll give you pie, but you have never to bark again when we come to stop to get out the car. Have okay, it's pie time. What do you think? If you'd bite the pie. Oh, he's going, he's going, he wants the pie. Right, you can have the pie, no more barking. We've just got the sun going down. It's just gone down behind the barn. Cloudy as well. We've got a bit of a moon, Mr. Moon out there. If you can see him. Which is there. Well, there we go. The two foxes are settling down. Having a treat. This is my bed in here. I've basically got um, a jungle blanket, a kip mattress, and um, a really, really minus five sleeping bag. So. What I like about this tent, it's got all of this space at the front, all this awning here. This is what it's got, look at this. It's good, isn't it? We had a deal when we offered you the pie. You said you wouldn't bark when we stopped. Come on. You're telling me lies now. So we set out to Whitby and we went for a walk on the beach and then down to the harbour side. Uh, looked at the sights and then <coughs> went into the shopping area, had a look round and just enjoyed how wonderful Whitby is because it really is a nice place. We love the port, we love the boats, everything about it has got character, it's got seaside, it's got quaintness and you know it really really is an amazing place to go and visit and worth every penny that we've spent on this trip and we were definitely going to come back to this coast.
one of the things that Lizzie loves doing is getting on the beach, running in the sea. She likes getting up to her neck in water and just cooling off. So hopefully, the sun picks up, we're going to do a bit of that this next few days. thinking of doing is just showing you around the Nissan Qashqai and showing you what I do when I have no gear in the car well basic gear in the car um, and just show you my setup for how I store my food and where I put my cool box uh, before the mattress goes on and I'll show you under the seat um, the back seat so hopefully take three things three things away from this one is where you can store your food if you use the system that I've got. Two is how to basically get level the seats to um, the frame that you're going to be putting in the back. Um, and three really, where you're going to store your food in terms of cool boxes. Use those cool boxes as part of your bedding system. So hopefully, let's get into it. So what I'll show you first is um, the boot area and what I've done to raise it up so the, the, the seats are quite level from the cool box to the front. And this is basically what it is. So I've got a piece of card in here um, and you don't need more than that because when you're sleeping on it you, you kind of your bulk of your weight's on the seat, it's only your legs on here, so I cover that and, and you, you can strengthen, you can put plywood on, I just put a box on, it's easy. And then if you take that off, what I've done is I've made this frame, which in a previous video, if you look, it shows the frame, something like four inch at this side and an inch and three quarters at that side, tapering on the underside with three cross rails on it, to the med to the width of the boot. This gives you all of this storage space i basically put my food in here so basically gas food utensils some stuff for the dogs and basically more food um, and it works really well because when you're traveling you put this on it's all hidden it's all out of the way and it's all undercover so then that leads me really to these are the back seats that are down and then if you look over there you see the cool box that goes behind the seat and the front seat just moves forward and that enables you from when the seats forward from the top of that cool box to there five foot nine nearly five foot ten so that means that this will work. You've got a, you know, enough space for two people. Now it gets a bit tight with two because especially if you've got rucksack tents or anything else as well. Um, I've got two dogs. My two dogs sleep on the front seats in the, in the baskets. I pull the seats forward. They'll sleep on the baskets there. I can sleep in the back. And if I've got my tent like I've got today behind me, I can put that on here. I also carry a portaloo um, when I'm uh, in out and about. What I do with a portaloo is normally sits there, is I put it on the floor outside the car with a cover on it. Um, I've got the obviously doors closed on an evening when I'm sleeping and I can hear anything outside the car. Okay, so this is the back seat area. 
So basically, I've had to take out the seat under these backrests that fold down. And basically, so that's what it looks like underneath. And put a piece of 3B2 in here. See that? That goes across. And you can see there, supported just with the headrests on there. And then that gives you the footwells. On that side of the footwell, we've got the cool box. You can put a cool box on this side. Um, but I tend to put me chair in there, or two chairs, a few clothes, and, and my cooking equipment. And then in the front foot, I put my tech on the floor at the front. Um, and that kind of works really well. And they just fall down. So from here, right through to the back, is nearly level. Slightly raised up. Anyway, I've got a cargo net above my head there. So when I'm led down, I can put everything I need in the cargo net. Spare socks and uh, <coughs> my knife. So then if you've got a cool box, obviously you've got all your, your stuff in a cool box. But this acts as the bed extension goes right up to the back of the seats here. That's where your, your head's gonna be really. That's your pillow, bit, goes, the seat goes a bit further forward. And you've got stories like I say at that side. And then if we come out of here, and then I just, I'm not very organized at the moment. I just put clothes. I carry that um, extension lead when I'm site camping. And that's it, works all right. Right, so just let's talk about what no one talks about. When you need to go for a hit and a miss, how do you do it when you're in a car? Well, this is one method. You see these lemon and lime from Aldi? These are really good. Because what you can do with them is you can cut the top off like this and that is an ideal jug to do your number ones in and then easily cleanable pour it out disinfect it that works you can do that quite easily whilst you're between the doors of a car people can't see you pee into that works give it a go so three things I don't like about camping in the Nissan Qashqai and the first one really is um, the height of the bed when it's fully inflated so, so the height of the bed from the floor Um, to the, where the towel is, but we've got a mattress on there as well, usually on there, which is, you know, um, just not in at the moment, so I could show you. But when I've got the height of the mattress, which is a couple of inches above that towel, that doesn't give you a lot of room between there and the top of the car. And that doesn't mean it's hard work to sleep in. It's easy to sleep in, but it's tricky to get your body in and out of it just because it's quite a high car is this off the floor it could have been a little bit lower but anyway it's not that's one thing I really dislike so the second thing I really dislike when I'm going wild camping is if you've got a rucksack and you've got stuff in the boot although I like where all my food and everything is under this I'll show you so where I store everything all my food is it's less accessible when you've got stuff in your boots so if you've got a problem and you break down you've got to take everything out of your boots and if you need your spare tire you've got to take everything out of your boot and all your food out as well can you imagine what that's going to be like at the roadside that is a downside for me not that it's a downside yet 
never happened to me but it's uh, possible and the third downside really is having lack of space to put clothes if I had a second person coming with me it's possible but you've got to take less things with you so you've got to take less clothes you've got to take less um, equipment and you basically got to be down to the bare minimum you know you've got to basically have a very small bag for a change of clothes and a sleeping bag that's it I want to take me tech I can but um, time I've got the, the boxes in and the food it's very tight anyway then are my three downsides and I can't find any more at this point in time okay so when I've got the boot um, <clears throat> sorted and packed this is the amount of gear I've got in it whenever I travel so there's not a lot of stuff in it so basically I've got my tech gear I've got my blind for the front window I've got my black blinds um, for the side windows I carry obviously a spare towel or two for the dogs and myself um, and a tent that goes on this side and a toilet so that might seem a lot but you know that's doable to wow camp so um, I sleep here the tent sleeps here the dogs sleep on the front and everything else has got a purpose so it works so I'm quite happy with this setup tell me what you think in the comments below if it's something you try or if it's something you fancy okay while I'm while camping in my car what do I use for water um, and what do I do for storage because that, that is a problem so <clears throat> I got two sources of water I'll show you so wherever I go I carry two litre bottles of blue water cleaned they're always clean and never put anything <coughs> in there apart from clean or filtered water um, and same with the two litre uh, pump action so that's just obviously two litres in a pump action there and then what I do have is I have this Catadon B3 water filter um, which does about uh, 900 millilitres in 20 seconds so if I'm near any water source, doesn't matter what the water source is, any water source, as long as it's not stagnant, that will give me clean, fresh water out of that spout into them there bottles. Lifesaver, really is. Um, that's what I carry. <coughs> the two litres behind my seat and the two, two, one litres um, in the boot. That's it. Um, so if that's helped you, you know, subscribe to the channel. See you over there again, more and wild again. Bye. But the truth is, if I'm honest, I feel stuck here.